Aren't you sick of it yet? Because I know I'm kind of growing impatient here. How come no one, and I mean like no one ever records war in HD? I mean, we're lucky to get 480p. With all this technology out there, everyone's phone being capable of, you know, three four five times the hd if not more that we were uh, capable of when hd first hit the scene i mean fucking hell 720 you know what i mean give me, can you can you give me that that's like th that's not even really considered hd anymore is it but it used to be most of these videos are 360p some of them even 240 is it Anyway, so this is the footage of the Kinzo hypersonic missile, supposedly, right? And it's glowing. I don't know why it's just glowing, because it's fast, right? Like, what's, what's illuminating it? And then it seems to... Now look. Could be a shitty camera could be just, I don't know, a glitch, or it could be due to the fact that it's such low quality, the pixels are spilling all over the, the, the damn place, maybe it's post-processing or something, but this hypersonic, supposedly, which, you know, if it's many times faster than the speed of light, why, why does it look so damn slow? Oh, presumably because it's way high up there, right? If, but if that's the case... um. If it appears to be slow because it's way high up there, why does it look like at the same time it's flying under what looks like uh, an electric post, right? Something like that. Hmm. That's the next frame, I guess. Could be this, could be that. What if? And I really don't want to believe this. Or I find it hard to believe, but I'm starting to. This might be kind of wild. What if these great military powers we are told about, these great weapons, what if they don't really exist? Or at least not to the extent that they say they do, right? Maybe, could be, that Russia doesn't have this powerful military that they tell us it does, right? I mean, it would make sense, and I believe that that's what's happening, right? If you're going to build up this bogeyman, then I might as well give it more credit than it deserves, right? What if war, the way we believe at least, it used to happen, what if... What if it's no longer really necessary because you could just hire a whole bunch of actors and movie producers and film studios? I mean, apparently Sean Penn is traveling or is in Ukraine right now shooting a documentary, right? CNN and BBC and all these actors are already in there, clearly setting up sets, right? Putting little teddy bears in... Um, just randomly lying in, in, in a bunch of rubble, right? Or next to a broken down, I don't know, burnt out, attacked, destroyed tank, right? There's people in body bags wriggling around, checking their Facebook messages. <laughs> right? That That for sure is happening. What if, to a large degree... A lot of what we see, and I believe that's true, what we see on TV is is Hollywood, right? And and it is, but, but even more so than those of us who know it is, believe it is. You know what I'm saying? What if these great militaries and these this awesome equipment 
doesn't really exist because it's not necessary. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure some military men and women engineers, people have been working on this or that prototype tank thing, whatever uh, weapon system, and, and they're developing something here and there. But do they really have the resources to, you know, create this great piece of bomb a machinery and multiply it a hundred times over like they say that they have I'm kind of skeptical man because you see these piece of shit old running out of gas tanks being employed right these military kids who have no fucking clue what they're doing apparently and don't even want to be there and I think it has to be said that this day and age Society, I don't give a shit if it's, even if it's Russia, right? More so than ever before, it's pussified, right? We're weaker as men. We, we just don't have the guts for war anymore, right? It would seem anyway. I mean, so many men are interested in dumb shit, right? At the very least, sitting on their ass and plucking away at their fucking keyboard. Right? Like, does anyone really, and yeah, people do, still do hard labor. There's still hard people out there, but not the way it used to be. So maybe we just, as a society, no longer really have the guts for war. And maybe that's why the theater had to be turned way the fuck up. Because there just aren't enough people willing to go out there and do the bidding of, of these people, not like there used to be. And maybe there just isn't enough money to, to make all these weapons that they say they exist, right? Because if this is a hypersonic missile, why the fuck is it so slow and why does it why is it glowing? <laughs> why is it flying seemingly under? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. This whole war doesn't make the official narrative of the war, right? And what we see doesn't make any sense. Can we, at the very least, for all of you on the ground with your fancy fucking iPhones, no doubt about it, with 3, 4, 15 lenses on the front, can we, can we get some HD footage at the very least? Can we? Yeah. I thought so. Thanks for watching.